one piece of content that's kind of like the main thing you're building on and you're shooting out different stuff to kind of supplement. I look at it the same way. It's like you should have a hub or a solid B2C business, like business plan of what you're going to do to monetize followers and then see how the other platforms can connect into that. I think that's what the smartest artists do, right? It's like when you see an artist who goes and does an interview on title, right? Or like some type of title partnership. It's like, yeah, cool. We, uh, like a fan may look at it as like, oh, they did it just to get more title exposure or to become bigger on title, which it may be true, but most of them do it hoping that, okay, let me try to get enough of this title base interested in me that they'll look me up outside of title and hopefully they like check me out on there and do shit over there, right? Like that's where all of this stuff kind of comes into. A lot of artists who do it right, they're always pushing back to something like that. Like I said, we don't see enough artists do that because realistically, a lot of artists just don't even know that that's a possibility. You would be surprised how many artists think that the antiquated business model of the music industry is the only way either because of, you know what I'm saying, like, like, like I said, they just haven't been like looked into the right things to know better or they just choose not to know better. Usually one of those two. Either they don't know better because they haven't been given the information or they choose to ignore the information and just don't want to believe it. But I think that, like I said, now, especially when the entire industry is being forced to play the exact same game. Because just like right now, we're telling you guys, yo, you need to be figuring out your internet game. You need to be figuring out your content strategy. How are you going to kill it on YouTube? How are you going to kill it off, kill on Instagram? There are big artists who never had to think about that because they had a hit song in like 2017. And they make tour, they make, you know what I'm saying, half a million dollars plus in tour money every year. And then they're not going on tour this year and it's 600K that's lost. And what all do they have left to do? Figure out how to build an online presence and monetize BBC. So like now everybody's playing the exact same game. So out of this particular moment, I think it's going to get, uh, cause a lot more artists to like believe that it, it can happen that way. Because we're gonna have a lot, I think we're gonna have a lot of success stories of artists who are like showing like, yo, I monetize my fan base, which is one already hard enough to do, but I also monetize them during a crisis. And I did it by just directly communicating with them through whatever platform my chosen platform is, through whatever my chosen method is. So I think, like I said, I think that's where a lot of the industry thought needs to shift towards is like, yeah, streaming numbers is cool, but at the end of the day, music is really just a means to an end, right? Like music is just another promotional tool to whatever the overall experience is that you should, that you should be selling as a brand, right? Like use the music to pull them into you, and then sell them experiences as an item. Don't look at it like I'm selling you my music. The music is just like, like, cause like you said, so many fans expect it for free or cheap anyway. It's really been just super devalued. But if this song that I made half of a penny on for streaming got you interested in me enough to buy a t-shirt from me or donate $15 to me on my live stream, then it just became a lot more valuable, you know, so. I don't know, but like I said, that's literally the conversation we've been having with all of our clients, big and small, is like, yo, what's, what's it about to look like? Because yes, you know what I'm saying, if you live in a place as crazy as Georgia, you might get out early, you know, like we, but, but majority of places, this is a very, like, you know, like us being on lockdown for a couple of months is a very real possibility, like a very likely possibility. So it's like, if this is all you have to look forward to, it's going to be, online content creation and online di or digital monetization because even if you were to pop today, the traditional means of making money as an artist aren't gonna be readily, as readily available because you can't tour. There's not as much sync money out there because there's a halt on production for like TV shows and movies and stuff. And, and those are two big income sources for artists right there. Sync licensing, touring. You can't go show to show and sell merch so if you've never figured out how to sell your merch online to your fan base, then you're going to be fucked now because you can't pull up in Atlanta and sell 500 t-shirts. You have to try to figure out how to get your 500 fans in Atlanta to go to your website and buy a shirt. So like I said, everybody's playing the same game right now. So that's kind of like a positive. Um, but I agree with you. Like I said, it, it's a lot of, a lot of artists get put in fucked up situations because they want to believe in the traditional music industry business model, which still works in the capacity, but it works for a very select few group of people. And, you know what I'm saying, those group of people, 
uh, even like you said, that it's still rarely ever like an overnight success type of thing. It's like there's a lot put into it, or a lot more than even we see put into it. But there is a new business model that damn near every artist can take up, which is what we teach: the B to C, run ads, put out content, build one-on-one -on -one relationships with your fan base. Talk to your fans, talk to your fans, talk to your fans until they, you get them to a point where they can't monetize. Like every artist can do that. It's possible. No one can stop you from running a Facebook ad. You know what I'm saying? No one can stop you from building a Shopify website. No one can gatekeep you out of, you know what I'm saying, um, putting a download link up and selling it for $9. But a lot of people don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be real. A lot of artists don't want to do that shit. It's just work. But, like I said, I think we'll see that shift. I don't know what bigger artists is going to take to make the general just thought around that shift. Uh, but I do think it's going to happen. I do think this whole thing is going to speed that process up. If that makes sense. It did. It made sense. And I, I just um, saw on Twitter, they said that a uh, uh, rap artist just passed away from COVID-19. Was it Fred the Godson? Oh, you said Fred the Godson passed away from COVID nineteen? That's what they said on Twitter. Damn, that's crazy. I did not hear about that. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like every every conversation that we've had with anyone in any level of the industry, big or small, is all going back to the same shit. Of you know, like nobody knows what's to do next everyone is kind of scrambling trying to figure out stuff that like people like us have been telling people to figure out for a minute and like i said i just think it's really it hasn't like it hasn't super leveled the playing field because yes a major artist is still going to have access to different opportunities during this but it's laying the playing field in the sense that everyone has to be on the content creation game like everybody has to do it. everyone has to figure out how to do it and everyone's gonna have to get extra creative on how they monetize in the industry because like I said, a lot of these traditional income sources for artists are about to either not die, but just like severely be halted. Touring is expected to take a hit to 2022, right? So if we look at it trickling down, if major festivals are suffering, I mean, small indie like local showcases, may be some of the first ones to like figure it out just because since a lot of them are built around more like grassroots style showcases and stuff anyway they'll probably figure out some creative way to get around it like i know us we could just if we could get to like a warehouse or some shit when shit is cool we could put together something because it's going to be like it, i don't know I, I don't know how to explain it unless like you're really in the touring world but like touring is going to be interesting after all this. i'm telling y'all right? and depending on what level you're at by the time everything is flushed out is going to depend, going to determine who benefits off of their show money when stuff, you know what I'm saying, gets back right. But if everyone figures out content and digital monetization, then no matter where that game goes for you, once it opens back up, you're straight, you're good. And then even, even if the industry goes back to a more tra or traditional model, once all of this is over, then it doesn't hurt to have digital monetization on top of whatever the traditional business model is that you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like it can't. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's catch only too either. Either it helps all the way, you know what I'm saying? Either it becomes your whole thing or it supplements what you have going on. It's one of those two. That's how I look at it. So, y'all ever ever everyone felt like you know it was a little hard to hop into the game. Everything now is based around content, entertainment value, and. I don't think we're going to see a lot of monetization anytime soon, but it's definitely going to happen. Like people are still making money now. There's an artist that we know who he released his project through his website and he made thirty thousand dollars off a of fan donation. You know, so it's like people are still willing to spend money. I think people are more willing to spend money now in the sense of just not be bored. If you really have some interesting shit for them to do, um, and the artists that are going to win during that time are going to be the artists who figure what that looks like from that end, like how. Can I collect and monetize off of everyone's collective attention since they're in the house? Ow.